Who's heard the name Kev Chamberlain Sr.? Yeah. Who hasn't heard the name Kev Chamberlain Sr.? November 2011, White Plains, New York, Kev Chamberlain Sr. killed in his own living room by White Plains police. I, Kev Chamberlain, do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, so help me God, this is my sworn testimony. I was your brother in arms, a devil dog, a leather neck, a running, gunning, red, white, and blue blooded son of Uncle Sam, black boots trudging through the mud of Vietnam. A six-year battle-hardened veteran peacekeeping ambassador sent on a Southeast Asian expedition undertaken in defense of our liberty. According to the Pentagon, Vietnam was never officially declared a war. It was and still is acknowledged merely as a police action. A police action. I still remember Uncle Sam's indelible image, his exquisitely fearsome grimace of brilliant white light descending and singeing my skin, his inspirational visage vivified in my mind's eye, itchy trick of finger flinging meaning into my meandering lifestyle, solemnly beckoning me to ascend from an inevitably menial tomorrow I enlisted to become someone. Selective service conscription preempted by my ambition, I willingly donated my skin for your war drums, Uncle Sam, because I believed in you. I mean, I lived your creed. An onyx, hard-edged, bald-head, jaw-head, PT-leading, unflinching, a disciplined Marine MP. Silly me, despite my hue, I still believed I was a human being. <laughs> my memories were littered with the dismembered appendages of your benevolent efforts to export the American way. In a memoriam, I have dozens of aims etched into my bones, forever visited by ghosts from a youth I freely donated to you. America, I was your benevolent shadow, your gunpowder titted baby boom sentinel, forever true to you. Do you remember me? The ostensibly anti-black power movement, dropped out to Muhammad Ali anti-thesis, G14 secret stored in your safe. Negro, I was killed Chamberlain, and I killed strangers for you. I hoped that maybe stateside I could trade in their screens for my dignity, but I never anticipated how quickly they depreciate in value. My dear country, there were no ticket tape parades for me, no PTSD diagnoses, yellow ribbons, or top square kisses to contextualize my blighted dreams. I know that you've moved on. But my normal rock world delusions and I still reside here in the periphery, in the hero lay so to these popularly awarded by more than 40 years of history and politically expedient in the amnesia. I left here a nigga, I came back a baby killer, and this worthless bone collection is so heavy. Quote, my name is Kenneth Chamberlain. This is my sworn testimony. White Plains police are going to come in here and kill me. Thus was the anticlimactic extemporaneous epilogue to the last 90 minutes of my 68 trips around the sun. And as a man condemned, I finally see the unrequited nature of our love. Quote, gentlemen, please. I'm a 68-year-old man with a heart condition. I'm a sick old man. Quote, we don't care, nigga. Mm. Mm. Come on. This is my sworn testimony. Come on. I am American history. We live in a post-racial society, yeah. and you're sick of hearing my story. Yeah. According to popular opinion, all of my afflictions were fictional. My yeah. conditions consensual. I was just a degenerate nigga resisting arrest. I guess I brought this on myself. Yeah. Yeah. According yeah. to popular opinion, I was genetically predisposed to be a troublemaker, a night terror, a gangster, a diabetic, a welfare recipient, a statistic, an addict, an alcoholic, a criminal, a uh -huh. villain, ironic, that for 20 years as a corrections officer, I got to your society for the likes of guys like me. And for the longest, I refuse to believe that the rabble rousing black nationalist rank was true, but I guess we really do all look the same to you, don't we? Yeah. Don't we? Yeah. My name is Kenneth Chamberlain, and this wasn't the way I envisioned the ending of my, my, of my life story, but my autobiography was punctuated with an exclamation mark, a question mark, a period, and two for the caliber hollow tip ellipses. My future was red ink edited dead with extreme prejudice. My reputation disparaged my legacy, diminished my message, disfigured potential, dismembered my lips, twisted into petitions for mercy, the rasp of my last breaths, echoing into the barrel of a gun. I was the unwilling object of your topsy-turvy alchemy, your burning less slugs impacting my lungs and turning my golden years to dust. I'm Kenneth Chamberlain, a.k.a. So What? Mm. Mm. So on. what? Come on. And being young and menacing could have made me sensational. Then maybe Gerardo Rivera and the Fox News Network could have given my death some perspective. Like, if I hadn't decided to live in the projects, I wouldn't have rendered myself such an easy target. Mm. Or if only I'd swallow my pride that one last time and let the nice peace officers in, I could have been breathing to see my 69th year. Yeah, yeah, Gerardo would have made this all make sense. Too bad the mass media doesn't seem to consider a chronicle concerning the cops droppers and wash up project dweller uh. a hot topic. Uh. But then again, I got some stories that better left unspun. I am no one. 
No one. And as I lay here in my living room, handcuffed and dying, I carry the echo of my Miranda rights into the afterlife. I have the right to remain silent. 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 I have, I have, I have, I have, and I will forever keep your open secrets on the jilted afterbirth of your Woody Guthrie idealism. Oh. Better off discarded than acknowledged. My life is the invisible exhibit A associated with plausible deniability. I am no one in particular. Just a drop in the bucket of blood with which to pin the kindergarten career day narratives. You'll present to your future suspects and self-defense justifications. Yeah. Remember, remember we live in a post-racial society. But not like Trayvon Martin, Sean Bell, Amadou Diallo, Oscar Grant, Anna Jones, Taisha oh. M. Taisha Miller, Emma Till, Mike Brown. And dozens of other young black kids that must have been asking for trouble. I was one of you once, America. Your faithful friend, Simple Fidelis, to the end, right? Amazing how things come full circle. Vietnam was never officially declared a war. It was and still is acknowledged merely as a police action. A police action. A police action. I used to wipe my granddaughter's tears. I swore I'd never be the reason for them. I feel guilty now. Is that weird? Oh